Hey there, guys. So this is Darwin. Uh, this is another Ohio beer, uh, Thirsty Dogs Barrel Aged Siberian Night, a bourbon barrel aged, a bourbon barrel aged Siberian Night. Um, it's uh, barreled for eleven months, and uh, it's ten point nine ABV. So yeah, um, they've aged it in fresh oak barrel, uh, bourbon barrels, and so yeah, let's uh, dig into this beer. So beer obviously comes in a super dark black color, actually a large amount of carbonation uh, for a bourbon barrel aged beer. So yeah, a nice uh, ring of like sort of a. Uh, mocha kind of a light brown head so yeah let's give the aroma not a huge uh, aroma on this um just reminds me of siberian night siberian night by the way is one of my favorite imperial stouts uh super underrated i really highly recommend people check that out i uh, don't know why it doesn't get uh, respect like some of the beers like plead the fifth and founders imperial but you know that's i guess maybe easier for me to find because of that so in the front you're getting dark cherries this is a very fruit flavored uh fruit forward uh, uh imperial stout um dark cherries uh, red cherries, uh, dried plums, dried figs. Yeah, just that fruit isn't like bursting at you. Tinges of alcohol, uh, some roasted malt, molasses, uh, toffee, caramel. All that, that like molasses and toffee is really a, a wonderful description. Fruits, um, you're getting a bit of like, uh, like yeah, it's almost like um, a, a Belgian note where the fruits sort of pop out. It's like a dry, spicy fruit kind of aroma. So it might be the yeast that's uh, giving that, but yeah, let's get the flavor on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Very nice. In the front, you're popped with, um, I would say a medium amount of bourbon, vanilla, a good amount of vanilla. You're getting um, a nice amount of dark fruits, uh, cherries, again, the figs, the dark plums. Uh, then you're getting um, a, a dark chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, then you're also getting um, a, a nicely roasted coffee, not too deeply roasted, but a nice roasted coffee. Uh, finishes off with tinges of oak and drying. Tons of carbonation on this, really surprised. I'm actually curious uh, if this beer is um, partially barrel aged and then they throw in fresh beer because it has lots of carbonation. It actually has a medium uh, body, a really light body for a 11% barrel aged stout. Tinges of heat. Not sensing that this is a 11% beer at all. Nice, again, dark fruits. I really like some of my imperial styles that have like dark fruit, dark fruit uh, flavors, and this is one of the more aggressive ones. What I'll say about this beer is that it's a different kind of breed of bourbon barrel aged uh, stout. Don't come into this beer expecting something like uh, Bourbon County or uh, maybe a Bell's Black Note or something, you know, something thick, bourbon, uh, bourbon forward and viscous. This to me is sort of like as if you had a regular imperial stout and then like, uh, poor tinges of bourbon into it. Uh, the bourbon character isn't very aggressive. Uh, without knowing that this is a bourbon uh, uh, barrel aged beer, you might, you know, be curious, like, oh, there's something different about this beer. It's not a in your face, like, okay, this clearly tells me this is um, the bourbon's here, the vanilla's here. This is clearly giving that message. Um, again, super like uh, light body with a medium body, tons of carbonation. It does not drink 11%. I would guess that it's probably something like 8%. Uh, I've had Velvet Mercury recently, and it reminds me even of that because of that lighter body. And Velvet Mercury, and I believe, is like an 8 point something ABV bourbon barrel aged uh, uh, milk stout from uh, um, Firestone Walker. So, yeah, uh, I definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, this I would give a 93. This to me is uh, for people that are a bit tired of huge, sticky, humongous, and barrel bombs. Of imperial south this to me does a, a, a lets the beer shine through and as tinges of the barrel character come through i mean it's not you know something that everyone wants all the time but i think it's a really nice beer to have in the rotation because you get to see what barrels can do to beers and this is sort of i'd say a beginner's uh, uh barrel aged imperial stout so until next time guys this is uh thirsty dogs uh bourbon barrel aged imperial stout until next time cheers